Back on the chamber report, next up on member profiles, I told you we were Bunsen, and we are. It is Bunsen Performing Arts. We were just chatting uh, off camera that, well, this thing has been, you know, it was Bunsen's backyard that I remember early on, and you're gonna learn about that stuff. But it, it, they've been with us for a long time, always coming here on the show to talk about what they've got coming up, and there is a production. We've got two villains with us today, and you're gonna find out about that. <laughs> Elias Kaspari and Rachel Gaspar are here from Bunts Performing Arts. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, hi, my name's uh, Elias, and I've been in Bunts. Actually, this is my fourth show that we're coming up on, so I'm super excited about it, and in this show, I'll be playing Jetsam, the evil eel, so I'm super excited to be playing that. Rachel, and you, yes. you're bad too, I guess. <laughs> yes, I get to play Ursula in this particular show. This is my second show with Bunce. I played um, a mom in the first show, Bright Star, and I was actually with my husband, Brad, and my two kids, Cecily oh, cool. and Will, yes. And no, Cecily and Tucker, actually, in this show, I have my son, Will, he's playing Scuttle. Excellent. So what is the production? This um, show that we're doing this year is The Little Mermaid there based on you go. Disney's Little Mermaid. Uh, we will be doing um, this show from August 20th or July 26th through August 3rd in Dayton and it's totally free to attend. Yeah. It's in a backyard and so people need to know that they should bring a chair, mm -hmm. blanket, some bug spray, definitely. Um, cash for concessions and uh, donations and bring everybody that they know because it yeah. is going to be such a high quality wonderful show and it is family friendly and free you know and the cash part's really important I mean you're getting a show and you're getting a great show uh, but the reality is is none of that stuff's for free and you know what a good old bag of popcorn and a pop watching the little mermaid it doesn't get any better than that and you're helping the cause here that is and we're going to talk about that a little bit later and a little bit more um Ilya, so i'm looking at the questions that we're going to ask you and one of them says year-round theater that's news tell us more i have i when i saw that earlier i was kind of pumped for that What's going on? Yeah, so uh, Bunce has normally been doing just one mm -hmm. summer show, maybe a holiday show here or there. But this upcoming year, 24 to 25, we'll be actually having a full season of shows. So it's super cool that we're gonna have like some high quality, affordable theater for everybody to go and see. And we're still currently looking for a permanent home, but we'll be excited to bring theater wherever we can find it so that is incredible news i mean i have for the last eight nine years had the opportunity to, to obviously hear about this help push and promote it and we it was like this at the beginning and the little mermaid has grown and she is a woman now and my gosh that is such cool news i, I i'm excited for that trust me you'll hear more about that on the show and speaking of the show i want to talk a little bit more rachel about the summer performance so everybody knows Little Mermaid, this is a Disney movie. Again, give everybody those dates. It is July 26th through August 3rd, and it's in Dayton, uh, performed in a backyard. Uh, we have just a beautiful stage being created right now. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's really just a very cool, family-friendly environment um, where those of us on stage feel like family and perform with our families, some of us, um, and it, he didn't mention it, but his big sister is actually Ariel. So wow. that is really cool too. We have royalty in the building here. We do, here. well, that's, I mean, that, well, the true. sea queen too, that's, that's of true. course. And, and people need to understand that free is free. I mean, yep. th there's nobody there mm -hmm. saying you gotta pay to get through here. Right. Um, obviously, if you're getting pop, a popcorn and those types of things, mm -hmm. but those are really critical parts to, mm -hmm. to the success of what Bunce uh, performing arts is because you need that money right and Bunce actually started as one family's dream yeah. to do theater with friends and family and that was in 2007 so then by 2012 they became a nonprofit mm -hmm. community theater for the community and so they really value this summer free production so that everybody in the community has access to quality theater so yeah. we're very excited to be putting this show on. You know, and here, here's what I love about Bunce Performing Arts is it's the opportunity for adults, obviously, but also kids to be in play. Not, you don't have to be 
um, the main character in the plate, there are so many aspects to putting on a production, right? So this isn't, uh, actors, very important, yes, but you've got lighting, you've got sound, you've got sets, you've got so many, you've got people who are gonna help park your car. I mean, there's so many aspects to this and all of it is educational, especially to those kids. I, I think of, of the bonuses, and Elias, I bet you can talk to this a little bit. I mean, four years worth, I, I, you have had to have learned a ton, let alone, Having some stage opportunities, got to give you a little confidence as you move forward with whatever your next chapter is going to be in your life. Tell us what you think about all that. Yeah, absolutely. I think like doing shows, you learn so much and you get it. Bunce is really, it's a really a family to be honest. And it's just every year you're just joining that big family once again. And it's super fun meeting old friends and just seeing people that you've known forever. And like Bunce actually got me into theater and I've been doing theater ever since. And it's such a joy to always do it. And I think you learn so much with stagecraft and everything. Yeah. yeah, you find out what it takes, Rachel, and you obviously it's important to you because you've involved your family, mm -hmm. whether they had a choice or not, I'm sure they <laughs> did. But no, you, you you can see it, I bet, in your kids that you know they walk away from that after production, God, that was good. You know, I'm actually a teacher in the Anoka district, there so I love this aspect of, of Bunce because working alongside children, mm -hmm. you know, it's what I do for a career, um, and I work actually at Lincoln School for the Arts, so I have been able to tell my students, hey, you get to come and see me play the sea witch, you know, and, and it's very exciting. And those little kids, the way they are so thrilled to be a part of this, yeah. um, you know, is wonderful. And of course, you know, having the, the role of mom mm -hmm. and then, you know, watching my own, stu my own children on stage as an actor alongside them, there's just no better experience, nope. so it's been okay. wonderful. Are you getting the vibe here? It's cool, okay? And you should go. Um, the price is right. No, you can't. You, 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 you just can't turn down that. But more importantly, there's plenty of dates. Pick one. Take your family out for a great night of some theater. Have some fun. It's not like you've got to drive to downtown Minneapolis or go to Duluth to see a play. It's in Dayton. So make a night of it and have a great time. All right, Elias, they're watching. And they're like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> More importantly, and I'm going to address this to you, and you're going, you know, I've loved the theater since I was a kid. I support the theater. Is there a way for me to sponsor? I'm guessing that Bunce will take donations to help the cause. I'll bet that's true, isn't Elias? Absolutely, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, actually, specifically, you can find uh, that stuff all the way on BuncePerformingArts.com. And then we also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Bunce Performing Arts to get all that information about that. And then also, uh, you can find important news about rain dates just in case uh, sure. we have rain and we have to cancel the show and push it back to our rain dates. So just you can find that and also other shows that we, are be, that we will be doing in our youth camps, BEAT, which is Bunce Educational Adventure Theater. So all you youngins, please join that. And actually, this summer, uh, we will be having a spe special princess event for all the kids, so you guys should all dress up and just come and have a fun time. There'll be more information about that later. Excellent. All right. Website again? Yes, uh, it's bunsperformingarts.com. Excellent. He is Elias Kaspari. She is Rachel Gaspar. They are part of Bunce Performing Arts. Hey, thank you for giving your time to be involved with that and pulling family in, both of you. Um, uh, how wonderful it's just great and uh i hope you go you should go more importantly if you can't go but you can support support the arts you know more and more in the school districts some of that stuff's getting pulled back and i think it's so important whether you're, you're, you're gonna have your your child play in sports or if they want to get into the theater or march or anything that involves them in something that can help them as they mature as people and grow can only be a positive thing and i hope that you will do it hey good luck uh, i'm going to say break a leg because you're supposed to say that uh, <laughs> just don't be too mean both of you just don't no promises darling there you go all right we are taking a break when we come back we will continue here with member profiles